on Pastor Ray Gibbons. It's Sunday. Praise God today. Praise God every day. Like I said, why? Because he created everything. He created us. He created all of this. That's why. Jesus came to earth and became man and defeated Satan as a man. So praise God in Jesus' name. I say it every Sunday, and I'm going to say it every Sunday. The way to obtain grace from him is by accepting Jesus into your heart, by striving to be Christ-like in all situations, by doing your best in all situations. If you do your best, God will do the rest. Dear Heavenly Father, thank you for your never-ending love and patience. Thank you for putting us in this worldly realm and giving us a chance to prove ourselves. Thank you for our chance of salvation through your Son, Jesus Christ. We thank you that things are as good as they are. We know that there are people that have it worse, and we pray for those people. We pray that you grant us eyes to see and ears to hear. We pray that you grant us strength, wisdom, and fortitude to deal with the influence of any of these evil, nasty, demonic spirits that are trying to get us to act in a way that's unglorifying to you. We pray that your Holy Spirit descends upon us and affects us in all that we say, do, and think. In Jesus' name, amen. How many of y'all have a lot going on? I do. Let me count the things I've got going on. I'm trying to put together a secular sounding Christian rock band. I'm building a 91 F-150. I'm rebuilding it. That's a fiasco. I'm buying another car. That's, that's been a fiasco lately. My business is booming. Doing Dremel and chainsaw carving. Trying to record a Christian song for Christian radio. That's become a fiasco. Trying to put a floor over the dirt in my shop. I'm behind in like four jobs trying to keep everybody happy. I want to go fishing and diving. Cleaning up my property. It's the thing that we forget in all of it. We all get wound up. We've all got all these things going on in our lives. We all get wound up and we forget one thing in all of it. You want to hear God laugh? Tell him your plans. We forget that every, in the midst of all of this, that the number one thing that we should be thinking about is glorifying God in everything that we do. Because our whole reason for being here is glorifying God. But the thing is, we get wound up in all of our own plans and everything that we're doing ourselves. 1 Corinthians 6, 19 says, What? Know ye not that your body is a temple of the Holy Ghost that is within you? That it is of God. You are not your own. Think about that a minute. We're not our own. That's the biggest thing that we forget all the time. We are not our own. I'll say it again. We are not our own. That's what we keep forgetting in life. We're not our own. I get goosebumps saying that right now. I guess God wanted me saying that today. So we forget that, and we run through life trying to do our own plans and trying to make our own plans work all the time. That's one thing I want you to remember this week, is we are not our own. Another thing I talk about all the time, feelings. Nothing more than feelings, and we're all guilty of this too. It's hard to act God-like be God-fearing and to do the right thing when you can't keep your feelings in check. And we're all guilty of this. You know, how many people can honestly out there say right now that when they get mad they can still do the right thing? Take a minute and think about it. How hard is it to do the right thing when we're mad? It's very, it's very hard. 
we're not supposed to just do the right thing when things are good and going well for us or when people aren't doing us wrong. We're supposed to do the right thing anyway. We're supposed to keep our feelings in check. And that's something I've been trying to practice lately. There's somebody I've done a lot of work for in a deal. And I realized that they weren't coming through on their part of it. So I kind of backed out of it. And now it looks like I'm the bad guy. Which isn't true. And it'd be easy for me to get mad and talk bad about the person and be nasty with them. But I'm not doing that. Sometimes in life, we just have to shut our mouth. Even if you think you're in the right. Sometimes we just have to shut our mouth. Because like I keep referring back to Sister Teresa said all the time, it's not between us and them anyway. It's between us and God. It always has been. And I don't care if you're fighting with your spouse. I don't care if you have something going on with a neighbor or somebody else. You think somebody's doing you wrong and you're in the right. Sometimes, and I'm guilty of this myself, but I try to put it into effect. Sometimes we just have to shut our mouth for righteousness' sake. It's hard to decide to do the right thing anyway. Everybody thinks, well, if I do the right thing, I suffer. Everybody gets away with being wrong. They don't get away with anything. It's not our place to discipline and punish. It's not our place at all to discipline and punish. It's just our place to be the best example that we can be to everybody. And these things that I'm telling you are things I struggle with myself. I don't try to set myself up on a pedestal and say that I'm better than any of you because I'm not. If y'all could see into my personal life, you'd be like, wow, Pastor Ray, I didn't realize you could lose your temper like that. I didn't realize you could do this and that. Well, I can and I do. The thing I do try to do with it is I try to learn from all of it as it happens. I try to be better. The big trick in all of this is by putting your feelings in check and controlling your feelings. And I think all of us probably have a problem with that. When it says strive to be Christ-like, that's what it that's what it means. How many of us when we're in the midst of this world doing our things and something happens like that, how often do we actually go, Wow, what would Jesus do in this situation? How would Christ act in this situation? How often do any of us do that? I know I don't all the time, and I should. And that's why I'm saying this today. I want to bring it to everybody's attention. Earning that grace is by striving to be Christ-like in all situations, by doing your best in all situations. Pray for your loved ones, your neighbors, your enemies the same. Commit random acts of kindness. Have faith. Believe in hope. Treat people how you want to be treated, not how they treat you. Strive to be Christ-like in all situations. Love the Lord God with all your heart, mind, and soul. And love your neighbor the same as yourself. Jesus said there are none commandments greater than those last two. Listen to the whisper, not the roar. Stay close to the shepherd because the wolves are near. Praise God in Jesus' name. God bless all of you in Jesus' name.